What if you could find your baby's gender as early as 10 weeks without an ultrasound scan? No waiting, no guessing, just a simple blood test. Today I will explain how you can achieve that, the accuracy of the test, and why so many moms are choosing it. Let's dive in. Your baby's gender is decided the moment the egg and the sperm meet. If the baby gets an X chromosome from mom and Y chromosome from dad, it's a boy. Two X's is a girl. But here is the cool part. You don't have to wait for months to find out which one it is. The test uses a small sample of your blood to look for tiny pieces of your baby's DNA floating in your bloodstream. Not only can it tell you if you are having a boy or a girl, but it can also check for certain genetic condition. It's like getting a sneak peek into your baby's health and their gender all at once. But how does it work? During pregnancy, Tiny bits of your baby's DNA plot in your bloodstream. By 10 weeks, there is enough DNA for the test to detect. If it finds a Y chromosome, you are having a boy. No Y, it's a girl. It's that simple. But how accurate is this test? The test is over 99% accurate when done correctly. But there are a few things to keep in mind. If the blood sample isn't handled properly, or if there is no enough petal DNA, the result might be less reliable. That's why it is important to follow the instruction very carefully. But why so many moms love these tests? One of the reasons you can find out your baby's gender as early as 10 weeks of pregnancy. No waiting, no guessing. It's over 99% accurate and it's completely safe for you and your baby. Plus, it requires small blood sample, so there is no need for invasive procedures such as amniocentesis. If this video helped you, Check the video that is showing on the screen or in the video description to know what to expect at your 20 weeks anomaly scan.